guys so welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to actually achieve a glitter eye makeup look and i'm going to be using um Iena beauty the divine eyeshadow palette this eyeshadow palette actually has eyeshadows and glitters in it let me just show you guys the content of the palette three glitters in it and um matte eyeshadows and um, the rest of the shadows are shimmer so we have like three glitters seven shimmy shades and five matte eyeshadows if you want to see how i go about, go about creating the glitter eye makeup look which you can see from the thumbnail then do all to keep on watching this video let's get right into it guys <music> So to start out this look, I'm going to be using a transition color. A transition color is basically a color which you apply all around like your crease area and um, you continue like your eye makeup look from there. So I think I'll just quickly do like create one eyes of camera and then I'll come back on camera and actually like show you guys how I go about doing the other eyes. Now this look, I'm going to be using Chioma right there to blend all around my crease area using that fluffy eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to be sweeping Chioma all around my crease, sweep her all around, not like sweep per se, but like you know really really blend in around my crease softly so that it looks like um it looks really well blended and smooth and still soft because it's like the base for all the other colors they're gonna be applying sorry guys the fan is really like trying to uh, you know mess with my vibes here but we just ignore it so i'm using going in with the eno beauty two in one eyeshadow brush the way that brush is the blending part is really dense so it gives it helps for like a precise application so i'm gonna be blending with that brush just slightly beneath my crease area like the beginning part of my crease just to achieve like a precise application of the eyeshadow and the eyeshadow which i'm using to do that is named shire i already showed you that so i'm blending shire all around like my crease area but like my lower crease area using the two in one in beauty brush so i'm going back to that fluffy brush just to blend the two shades in well so that there are no harsh lines like there's no much difference between the shire shade and the anna shade it just depends on how i actually like apply it and how i build up the colors so going in with the shade named anna the black eyeshadow i'm going to be using that to like define my outer v area i'm just using that pointed blending brush like just dab anna on my outer v area Pressing her in there just to ensure that I get the intensity which I want and I also still get the precise application which I still want. So I'm trying to blend it in and still apply, blend it in. So while applying the eyeshadow, you always have to go back in and look just to ensure that the two eyes actually like match each other and look really really nice. So blending is really key. I'm still trying to ensure that everything is well blended and I'm also blending that black eyeshadow to like my bottom eye area and i'm going back with that fluffy fluffy brush to blend everything in i'm sorry nigeria is a very noisy country so it's really difficult to get a really quiet place to feel like to like a voiceover so still blending in those shadows in with that um chioma shade just trying to blend everything in so that there are no harsh lines on like the crease area and even on the lids too for the black shade where it needs with like the pink color shade so just blend, 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 blend. So everything looks smooth and really, really nice stuff. For like my lead eyeshadow color, I'm gonna be using the flat side of the two Yen and Beauty 21 eyeshadow brush and the shade named Bruni. I'm just gonna be applying Bruni all around, like the empty spaces of my eyelids and like my tear dust area. And then after I'm done doing that, I'm gonna be reaching for the shade named Inkechi. Yes, I'm gonna be applying Inkechi on like the center of my eyelid to like the beginning part of my eyelid and kind of like you know blending it into like the black eyeshadow there so we're going to be using Injideka which is that pink glitters which I love if you want a light application just use your fingertips and like dab the eyeshadow the glitters on your eyelid but if you want more like that kicky dramatic loud glitter look which I have on my other eyes then you need to use the eyeshadow brush to actually like dab the glitters on the eyelids which is how I actually like got the look for this tutorial so I'm just using that flat two in one brush like the part of the chain one brush like apply the glitters on my eyelids and that glitter the brush actually is really really good in picking up eyeshadows like it picks up this as well it picks up eyeshadows really well and it gets you that really really nice application which you actually want so i'm really glad the makeup look is actually coming out the way i actually wanted to like it's really so beautiful that it's like so beautiful 
So I'm just going to be blending the look again just down with that area with a fluffy brush so that it looks flawless. So next time I'm teaching for the shading in the makeup, I'm going to be blending my makeup on my crease area just to make sure that the both eyes really like you know, match each other well. This one was looking really like while well, the other one was darker. So I just blended the makeup shade. I'm going to be using my shade in Stella. Sister underneath my bottom lash area and then also added Anna just slightly above like the shade in Stella. So next I'm gonna proceed to applying my mascara. I'm using the Eno Beauty for the Migrant Mascara. If you really if you don't have lashes, you need to reach for this like this mascara. Like you really add volume to your lashes, like I'm trying to be careful because I'm gonna be applying the false because I'm gonna really like going into the lashes and I'm really like brushing it out. So you can see it really adds full there. It maintains your lashes, adds volume. And then next, I'm gonna be lining my eyes using the Eno Beauty Precision Eyeliner. I'm just trying to do like that, um, they're actually like the pointy eye thing that I always love doing. Just using it to like fix that pointy eye look at the beginning of my setup area. And also, um, looking for like, um, heading towards like the end of my eye to like do the cut eye thing which I love doing. It's almost become like a signature, signature eye look for me, but let's just do it. So, going to the ends of my eyes, doing the line upwards and going downwards to like you know extend it to like my um lash line like <laughs> i really don't know how to describe how i apply my eyeliner but that's basically it guys so now i'm just going to quickly apply my false lashes and that's basically it for the eye look so after i was done with the eyes i went in with lip gloss from eno beauty and lip liner from eno beauty lip gloss is named um chica and the lip liner is eno beauty coffee lip liner line my lips with the lip liner apply the glosses so that's basically it guys what this look like and if you need videos in nigeria can really be a struggle so guys please support me by subscribing to my channel and if you actually would like to buy the makeup products which i used for in creating this look you can visit the website which is above and I'll see you in my next video guys. I love you. Bye.